Καλησπέρα σα και πάλι καλοί φίλοι τηλεθεατέ. Welcome. Καλώ ορίσατε στην εκπομπή πρόσωπα. Faces. Ακόμα ένα καινούργιο πρόσωπο λοιπόν. Και να καλωσορίσουμε μαζί την Γκίκα. Καλησπέρα, Γκίκα. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to Faces. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Nice to have you here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Tell me about yourself. Uh, um, well, I'm a singer, songwriter, and I produce everything that I do um, with uh, a team of mm -hmm. people. So we're all together, and um, we put dance music, dubstep, and pop. But you're doing something else, very oh, important. Wait. Here we go again. And I want to know about <laughs> that as well because it's something to do with human beings. Yes. With yes. Their, their health. Yes. And you are there to make sure everything works okay. So tell yes. me about this <laughs> part of your work. Well, basically, by trade, I'm a operating department practitioner. Mm -hmm. And that basically means that I assist with anesthetics uh -huh. and surgery and recovery. Mm. So it's quite a responsible, you yes. know, it is a responsible job. And yes. it is very different to what, you know, what people will see me do um, from now on. But um, I love what I do for now. And um, I enjoy he helping people mm -hmm. and being in charge of people's lives. <laughs> do you think, how, how you compare this to, and do you think you pretend in some way, you know, when you're singing or whatever? I mean, you know, thinking about your um, job you do in, you know, uh, in hospitals mm -hmm. and thinking about you being on stage. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I understand what you mean. Um, yeah. And even people at work, you know, they sometimes it's hard for certain people that don't know me very well to imagine me, you know, almost being a, a split personality. But both sides, I've always been very into medical things and I've always, I went to stage school. Uh -huh. I grew up um, mm. performing. So, you know, for me, it's not unusual. And so actually it's a performance, you know, I mean, <laughs> you, you are acting, you're performing. Were when you are on stage, yes? Yes, yes, okay. you do. When did you start? I mean, you were... Uh... I, I got into um, acting when I was about seven. Uh -huh. And I went to a primary school and the head teacher there happened to be um, very good friends with Anna Cher, uh -huh. who is the teacher of uh, this particular theatre called Anna Cher. Okay. And there were people that went there such as Patsy Palmer, uh, Reggie Yates, Joe Swash, mm. Nasty Cassidy. All the famous. Um, yeah, they, they were all doing very well. Okay. So, so uh, <laughs> uh, okay, all right. but you were, you were in hospitals where, when they were making money and uh, becoming famous. Well, um, to be quite honest with you, I've done I've done so many jobs. I think uh, I'm not a, I'm not even sure if it's a creative thing or just a confusion thing in life that we all sort of go through and don't really know what we want to do. Mm -hmm. um, I've been a lifeguard. I've been an air hostess. I worked oh. for American Airlines. Did um, you? I worked for Ryanair. I was a beauty therapist, I trained oh to do that. Uh, I was a travel agent. Um, yes. I've done, I've done a lot of jobs. The woman <laughs> with uh, many jobs. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm very used to changing and doing different things constantly. Yeah. I like change and okay. I'm not afraid of change. Let's talk about music, mm -hmm. more about music. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you love music. Yes, I do. And you spend quite a bit of time, yes. you know, producing and all this. Yeah. You write in your own material. I write my own material. And uh, yeah. you um, put your vocals on and all yes. this kind of thing. And you have a CD ready at the mm -hmm. moment, yeah? Yes, I do. Would I have an album. Would you mind telling us about the CD? Well, um, basically, I was influenced um, from a relationship that I'd broken up with. Oh. And... It just encouraged you me mean to want to talk. All the songs are based on Not all on of that? them. And it's no. not, I mean, to be fair, it's not, the album is not based on one particular relationship. It's just based on, you know, how you feel after you break up with somebody that you care about. Can I ask you a question? How yeah. long, uh, you know, you spent doing this CD? I spent two years working on the so CD. So you break up two years ago? Um, no, oh, I actually yeah. broke up with the person five years prior. Oh to to writing uh, this particular CD, but you know you you need mileage when you write. You need something that's gonna you know you make need you. The reason. Yeah, you, I mean yeah. you can write things randomly. Um, perfect example: Ooh La La, 
Ulala is um, a very poppy kind of. Uh, it's got a European sort of dance uh -huh. feel to it. Uh -huh. And I was woke up on a on a weekend and I put the TV on, and there was music charts that was being advertised. I think it was now some something now uh -huh. something, okay. and Wigfield just happened to be was a quick clip of Wigfield with uh, singing Saturday Night, and at the very beginning she goes Dali la la la, uh -huh. and I remember sort of thinking Dali la la la. What that does sounds, that mean? What, what, what does that mean? Yeah. But it sounds awesome. It sounds fantastic. It's a kind of uh, dish, a food. It, what is it? And I just thought, I don't know. I just thought it just sounded awesome, and I wanted to do something with a twist, with a twang, with a with a feel that okay. had this dali la la la. And then it was like la la la, ooh la la, ooh la la, ooh la la. And then before I knew it, I had a tune that just came into my head, uh -huh. and then I was like panicking. I was like, oh my gosh, quickly record it because you're going to forget you, the tune before you. Forget about it. Yes. Totally. Many a times you go to bed thinking you'll get you'll get an inspiration, you'll have an idea in your head, mm -hmm. and you think I'm going to remember it, uh -huh. and you'll write it down. And then when it comes to the morning, you do not remember the tune, you do not remember anything that you know that that surrounds that idea. Yes. And it's I mean it's horrible, it's heartbreaking because you think oh that's just another idea lost. Anyway, before I knew it, it took me ten minutes to write Ooh La La, and um, I, I hope I hope you all enjoy it when you get to hear it. Is it possible to uh, see something, uh, you know, yeah. from the website? Yeah, if you go there? on to www.kikaofficial.com, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, you will be able to connect directly to my website and see the 10 tracks of my album. And there's also a, a viral there, which you'll be able to view, uh -huh. uh, which is a live viral performance of me singing, uh -huh. uh, which, was, to be honest, was a bit of fun. Um, it wasn't even really meant to be on there. <laughs> but I we thought we'd leave it on there because it was fun. And, yeah, I think you know, it would. Shall we try and see if we can see this? Yes. Okay. Let's go and see what is uh, there on the website.
beautiful. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. So, uh, okay. Um, now, you have the city ready. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, you're happy with uh, what you did and all this kind of thing. Yeah. Um, do you have any chance to, I mean, to appear and, you know, I mean, show the people you, what you can do? Well, we're looking towards um, releasing uh, Should I Stay mm -hmm. around March time. So I would say sort of coming up close to March, there will be some opportunities to do some mm -hmm. live gigs um, oh, with, with help of promoting uh, mm -hmm. Should I Stay. And um, yeah, it will be kept posted on the website. So mm -hmm. keep All track right. of the website and there will be more information closer to the time. Okay, between... Uh, you are two jobs, mm -hmm. okay? Which one you prefer and what do you think? Gonna, I mean, is, are you going to stay with uh, the patients or are you going to stay with the patients that they love and they are uh, sick with music? <laughs> well, look, let's just say... Because they are patients, you know? All Look, the, the I, I'm, music, I'm, I'm, patient, I'm around I mean? to help people no matter yes. what I'm doing. So and that's that's the beauty of, of knowledge mm -hmm. with certain things. Okay. You know, if I'm at the Brit Awards, for example, and somebody collapses or has a respiratory arrest, I'm here. I'm here to help. <laughs> so, uh, but, I mean, yeah. obviously, music is my passion. Mm -hmm. Looking after people is my passion. Um, I will always... You might be keep both. You know what I mean? Yes, why not? They'll both always remain in my heart. <laughs> okay, tell me about your um, family. I mean, mm -hmm. you are a Greek Cypriot born. Your father is Greek. My my father's uh, from Cyprus. Yes. Um, he's from a place called Famagusta in Cyprus, mm -hmm. and um, my mother is Irish. Irish. And Which she's part? She's from Ireland. Dublin. Dublin. Cabra, Cabra in Dublin. Okay. So uh, and I, I was I was Which born. Which part I was born is the here. Singing part is it your mother's or father's? I think it's both. Both. Yeah, because my my mum's actually quite quite a good singer, is and uh, my dad is a very good singer. Uh -huh. So. Um, I mean, your dad is. I, I think mean, I've always been influenced from both of them to sing. When you say your dad is a good singer, mm -hmm. he sang. He's. A, he he. Know. I mean, he. You know, he he doesn't sing professionally or ah, anything but like that. Singing but in weddings. He, you know, yeah. he's he's the he's the perfect uh, in the shower singer. Ah, okay. And uh, you know, I, I give him credit. He he does a good Lovely. job. Lovely. Uh, thinking about you have uh, you know mother from Ireland and father from Cyprus, um, you know uh, which way you are uh, more you know into uh, your mother's or your father's. Uh, well, I think you know naturally in terms of speaking the language. Uh -huh. You know, you, you tend to be mother's. as a woman. You tend, you tend, well, you tend yeah, to be closer with your mother because yeah. you know you spend more time around your mum uh -huh. being a female. I mean, my brother speaks fluent Greek. Huh? You know, he's completely bilingual okay. um, because he was probably more close with my dad. Oh yeah. So you know, it's not like it's not a preference or anything. You know, I speak very little Greek, uh -huh. um, and Cyprus is my second home. Whenever I go to Cyprus, it's yeah. you know I know that it's part of me. It's half of me. And I'm very proud, and I always get tingly. And you know, when you're when you're crossing over and you're coming into Larnaca and you're coming into Mackenzie Beach, uh -huh. it always gives me this, you know, this feeling. I I can't quite explain it, but it's a very good feeling. And you know, I was like, this is my second home. <laughs> How about uh, food? How about souvla and kebab? Oh, and totally. Yeah. Totally, um, very much into uh, Greek and cuisine. And salada. Oh yeah, I mean that that. I just use that with everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, musically now, again, yeah. coming back to the music. How um, about future plans? Or do you, I mean, you're going to carry on writing and all this? And yes, I, 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 this is what I love to do. This is, um, this is part of it. This is the major part, being able to put your ideas out and, and have your say. And, you know, there's always something to talk about. There's always a subject. There's always something that you're going to want to share mm -hmm. with people. And um, if you can put it out into music format, it's, it's a really wonderful thing. It's, it's a lovely th opportunity to be able to have. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people sympathize and can relate to uh, breakups and you know, mm -hmm. relationships and, and love. And we've all been broken hearted at one point in our life. And 
you know, we've all, always got something to talk about in, in, re in relation or in terms to love. Mm -hmm. So this album definitely represents, um, represents that. Mm -hmm. Were there any in your life, I mean, you know, uh, were they, are there any in low times and high times? Yeah, naturally. Um, I've, 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 uh, to be honest, I'm constantly, as a person, I'm quite up and down anyway. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I think when you're at your lowest, you tend to, well, I tend to be more creative and mm -hmm. I tend to think more and I tend to, to question life more when mm -hmm. I'm at my lowest. Okay. And I think when you're always very happy and you're sort of, things pass you by, you don't tend to think don't, about things as much. You just, yeah, you life. don't. Yeah, you don't but, notice yeah. it as much. It's only mm -hmm. when, you know, perhaps the chips are down or, you know, something very bad has happened or something dramatic. Mm -hmm. It makes you think and it's amazing what, what comes out of, mm -hmm. you know, being, being low. It gives you stuff to talk about. Mm -hmm. So what is the most important thing you have to have when you are in this business? I mean, talking about music. Well, I think you need to have determination. You need to have belief. Mm -hmm. um, you need to believe in your project. Um, you need to believe in your writing, believe in what you say and how you feel. And, you know, not everybody is going to feel the same way about your work. Not mm -hmm. everybody is going to have experienced, you know, what you write about. But that's not what matters. You know, what matters is that you believe in what, how you feel. And it's always going to be half and half. There are going to be people that do and people that don't. And that's life. You know, that's, that's just the name of the game, really. Mm -hmm. Name of the game, yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, so... You uh, can't please everyone. No, no, you yeah, know. Right, yes. So, um, if you were to give advice mm -hmm. to, you know, to youngsters, you know, mm -hmm. young people, kids and all this kind of thing, about how to go about it, what were you going to say to them? I would say... Just if you can learn an instrument, it's always very helpful uh -huh. because it can help you structure and put something together. Um, I kind of taught myself uh, the piano, um, not not properly, very basic piano skills, and I'll say keyboard skills to be completely correct here. Mm -hmm. And what I do is, I just get um, I get my eyeliner, and I will put like squares with squares and triangles with triangles and circles with circles. And I know that the squares and the triangles um, are opposite. Squares and squares go together, circles and circles go together. And th that's how I read my own notes and how I put my own music together. Mm -hmm. And it's, I mean, it's crazy, but it works for me. And uh, because I know what I hear when I hear it, but I don't know what a note is specifically. If you can learn an instrument, it's fantastic. Um, write, write your own material because um, at the end of the day, that's, that's how you start your project off. That's how you start uh, your album. You start by writing and putting uh, a tune together. And, you know, if you have a good production team that you can contact or um, give your stuff to, mm -hmm. it's very helpful because then they can help you produce it. And um, that's when things start to really lift off. Good. Do you have anybody as you are an idol, you know? I have a lot of idols. Um, Growing up as a child, I was very heavily influenced uh, with 80s music. And uh, I grew up listening to Madonna, um, Cyndi Lauper. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just love the whole 80s feel. And I like to represent that into my music. So mm -hmm. you'll hear a lot of uh, high synths in my music. And, and I'm also influenced by um, Anavishi. I, oh. I, I listened to Anavishi growing up. Oh, good. So, um, you know, and I love the whole sort of Greek multiple beat arrangement. And you I tried to put that into my stuff. You know so something? I, I think looking at you, you look like Anavishi. <laughs> you know I mean? Do you have any relation? you related to it? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so... Um, you know, uh, any other future plans? Well, um, hopefully I've got this iTunes release with Should I Stay around mm -hmm. March time. And... Um, should I stay or should, should I, I go? go? Yeah. Yes. Ironically, people seem to think on this occasion it's not about a guy. So I, I might surprise you there. The whole album is not about love. Not every single song anyway. And uh, I actually mm -hmm. wrote it about a friend of mine who used to um, have, should we say, a bit of a uh, drinking problem. 
And every time we used to go out, I used to spend most of the time picking her up and looking after her. And um, I just felt one day inspired to just write about it. And, and, and truth be said, she doesn't know it's about her. And um, I don't think a lot of people actually <laughs> realise what the song's <laughs> about. But that's what makes, you know, everything quite exciting. And So what, we, what uh, you were saying to her when you... Um, it's a, I mean, it's a very delicate subject. Can, can you sing it to us, the way you, you were saying it? Yes. Should, Please, yes. Which, should I stay? I mean, you can't... Yes, please, please, give us more. Or should I go? Or do I tell you all the things I think you need to know? Should I stay? Or should I go? Or do I tell you all the things I think you need to know? And what she was saying? Uh, she was she was on the floor. <laughs> and, um, well, basically, it was more, should I stay? <laughs> <laughs> or should I go? <laughs> oh, my God. So, um, yeah, good. you know, it's, it's one of those situations. I've never actually spoken to her about actually, it. And it's managed, too delicate. We managed to get an example of your voice, you see. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I was trying to get. Anyway, uh, Giga, uh -huh. it's, been, it's been a pleasure to have you in a show. Thank you very much. Cases. Your face is very well known now to the Greek community and to Thank the others. You. You know Thank you. Thank you very mean? much. And when they see your face, I'm sure, I'm sure they're going to follow your uh, uh, music. And, uh, you know, uh, when you have a geek, mm -hmm. you let us know. I will we'll do. And come and watch and see you. I will do. And enjoy your singing. Thank you very okay. much. It's been a pleasure and I wish you all the best for the future. Thank you. And when you have a geek, let us know so we can come and see and uh, we might get clips and show yeah. to our uh, you know uh, audience here okay? fantastic excellent lovely. that's it kiris kigiri you see another lovely you know conversation comes to the end but this is how it is so we see you next week again θα είμαστε και πάλι μαζί την επόμενη εβδομάδα την ίδια ώρα στις 8 το βράδυ με ένα καινούργιο πρόσωπο, με ένα καινούργιο face. Από τώρα, να περιμένετε λοιπόν την ερχόμενη εβδομάδα, θα σας ενημερώνουμε συνέχεια ποιους θα έχουμε και μπορείτε να δείτε και από τις άλλες εκπομπές μας το διαφημιστικό. Από μένα λοιπόν το Βασίλη Παναγή, καλή νύχτα σας, να είστε πάντα καλά και πάντα μαζί μας. 8 η ώρα κάθε Κυριακή με ένα καινούργιο πρόσωπο. Bye bye!